Yo, what's up guys? This is one time play here and today another video on Apex. And uh I know you might be wondering why in top three what's what's going on here? Why not top ten or something like that? I I'll I'll be doing that, but I just simply wanna talk about the the I don't know, I, I wanna say the Apex meta perhaps. Cause we gotta admit to some things, right? These guns, these top three guns are in the are on the list only due to the fact that they're consistent and magazine size. So I know I'm be the people are gonna be like, oh my god, dude, like they need to do something about it, and they have. Uh, Respawn has done something about some of these guns, but I do see uh, in the near f in the in the near future the. These other two guns might have something done so they are a little bit more balanced and not completely taking over the meta. But uh, let's get started with number three, right? And I was thinking about it and I was like, okay, because I'm kind of doing this on the fly and I was like, all right. Which is the, the third gun that I pick up the most, right? And it has to be, obviously it has to be, like I said, consistent. And honestly, I might say the R99, but... Due to the to the the fire rate, it is it's fairly inconsistent when you shouldn't anywhere, but uh, even medium range is just bad. So I have to say the number three is without a doubt carbine. It just has to be because he got it doesn't have as much sp speed as the uh, as the ninety nine, but it has the accuracy to make up for it. So like I said. These guns are making it to the top three only due to the fact that they're consistent and magazine size. Now, Carbine doesn't have a huge uh, magazine size, but it's a fairly versatile weapon. It's an SMG, and it could be an assault rifle too. So, only due to the fact that it's uh, very versatile and consistent, it made it to top three. Now. The next two are easily something that we could all agree on and everybody will be like, oh my god, dude, like, everybody's using this gun nowadays. And that's because people are starting to understand one thing, is that reloading on Apex Legends is such a game-breaking mechanism because, literally, if I had to reload, and it's, and it's something you have to do no matter what because... This is something that Fortnite understood and, and something that really got around and that's the It's crazy how this, The bullets in the clip will not kill you dude If I hit every single bullet It won't kill you unless it's a headshot every single one of them for the, or, or a lot of them right Like I'm not gonna go like exaggerate and just be like oh every, If you wanna really finish somebody you must, you gotta completely unload your clip on their head yeah okay i get it yeah it would work however it's like how many of us are actually doing that and i would love to see some statistics so that we can see the percentage of like body shots in uh in, in comparison to headshots and the percentage of players that are actually hitting headshots and i bet that it would be like maybe 10 90 percent most most of us are hitting body shots and it only due to the fact that honestly it's kind of hard to see their head when like things are happening I guess you could just keep your aim high, but it's not like uh, like I play in controller on Fortnite It's like it's not like you could just like have your aim high enough and just press aim and they will kind of drag the, the aim towards them It's not like that I, at least it doesn't feel like that on Apex Legends Which is something that I that I like due to the fact that they don't have to introduce bloom I mean, it's not like PC does it but it's like, it's one of the things that I enjoy about like uh, Apex Legends is that there's no bloom, man. If my crosshair is on you, you the, the bullet is flying to you. It's not flying over your shoulder or in between your toes, you know? So it's like, let's just let's just leave it as like magazine size. Magazine size is a huge deal on um, Apex Legends. Because if I have a bigger magazine size, it's more, it's like, it's most likely or not that I'm just simply going to be able to kill you either by swapping weapons or reloading. Maybe I don't even need to reload. Like I said, maybe I just hit a lot of headshots and you, you're done for it. So, the next two guns 
I hear only due to the fact that they're very consistent and the magazine size is insane. And so I'm, I'm sure that most of you can, can already guess what gun I'm talking about. And that has to be that LMG uh, Spitfire. That thing literally spits fire. It's like the one annoying person that just spits every time they talk. It's that ridiculous, dude. You just be covered in it, dude. Like, that thing would just slide you up, bro. You'll be like, re you already reloaded your gun three times. They're still shooting at you, bro. They're still going at it. Like, 60 bullets in one clip if you got the max uh, magazine. That's wild, man. Nothing can compete against that besides the number one weapon. And I can guess you guys know what it is since it's fairly consistent. It, it's consistent close range. It's, consi it's consistent mid range. It's consistent... It's consistent literally in any range you decide to fight somebody. And I mean, don't get me wrong. Honestly, the, the Spitfire, the only reason it's good is not due to the fact that the magazine size is crazy. It's due to the fact that it has barely no recoil. For an LMG, that is crazy, man. The moment I picked it up and used it, I was like, yo, this thing is like accurate. Like, this, this thing is so accurate. It's like... It's better than, than the flatline, without a doubt. Like, flatline is cool and stuff, but the flatline has way more recoil than the, than the Spitfire does, which is crazy to think. It's a, it's an LMG versus an, an AR, and the LMG has less recoil than a, an AR. Like I said, I do see things being uh, changed here in the future, probably when the moment that Season 1 starts. Uh, but, um, yeah. I do see some nerfs coming and some nerfs ha have actually been implemented and that's gonna have something to do with the number one pick which obviously by now you already know what it is if you're if you're up to date with anything on Apex uh, if you go check out the reddit they, they, they did talk about some updates that came out and maybe they didn't make it very public where it's like you had to download it or I don't remember but the number one choice is, has to be the wingman the wingman is just ridiculous, bro. Like that thing is so reliable, dude. Like you, you, you never feel like complaining about your gun if you got a, a, a wingman. You can shoot it from close range, even hit fire. It's just, it's just, it's a decent weapon when you hit fire. It used to be better, but like I say, it's been nerfed. The fire rate, the fire rate has also been nerfed, and so honestly. I much prefer to have a uh, a wingman over a peacekeeper or an EVA and I much prefer to have the peacekeeper over an EVA. Now this is the reason why consistency. Uh, EVA way too inconsistent. I had I had it where I hit f three damage shots on people and that's just a no no for me. Uh uh that ain't happening. That ain't flying around here. Not up in here. So I, I never picked that up ever again. Uh, the Peacekeeper. Also, it just feels like a big clunky thing to shoot. Uh, it just, I don't know, man. It just feels really slow. Like, I, I'm not the type of player to, like, I, I'm fast-paced, man. I'm a Bangalore player. Like, I like to just go in and unload my clip. You know what I'm saying? I'm trigger-happy like that. And just the peacekeeper, it just doesn't suit my style. I just don't like it. And but uh, uh, the wingman has all the components from it for they they make up a good support weapon or the main weapon. To be honest with you, like I said, it's very versatile. It packs a punch and it's always consistent. I it's always 45 damage to the body, right? It's like 90 something to the headshot unless you got the pierce the skull piercer. And that is amazing, amazing to have that kind of consistency in one weapon. I love it. I'm all, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. And so just as a quick uh, recap, number three was the carbine to the fact that it's very reliable just as the women is. It's just, it's magazine size is just not that big. That's why Spitfire ranks number two due to the fact that the magazine size is insane. The recoil is wild. There's no recoil on the weapon. It's so accurate. And number one, because, I mean, 12 bullets, 45 damage consistently to the body over almost, I think it's, I think it's 110 if you got the, the skull piercer and you got the gold uh, deagle, right? I call it deagle to the fact that I come from Fortnite. 
But uh, the wingman is... The wingman is definitely top tier up there. Like, if you're not picking up the wingman because you're scared of, like, missing out your shots, don't even worry about that, man. That thing reloads so fast. You'll be shooting at them in no time. You'll be shooting at them faster than they would, like, reload at a peacekeeper or something like that. <clears throat> Sorry about that, but... <clears throat> That is a uh, that is our top three, man. Carbine on number three, second place with Spitfire, and first place with Wingman. Even after the nerfs, it's it's still the best weapon in the game, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. Not at all. And so, stay tuned for our our next video. We are gonna make a, a top. I want to make a top five just so that the video doesn't drag very long, but. We're gonna do that. We're working on that. I'll probably put it out in like two days from now, from the day of this video being released. And um, yeah, if you guys made it this far, if you guys actually enjoyed this type of content, then don't forget to give the video a like, man. It helps us a lot. And if you, for whatever reason, you're watching this and you're not even, and the video was recommended to you and, and you're not subscribed, then I suggest you guys, you guys go check out the rest of the channel, see if you enjoy anything there. And if you guys do, then you know by all means go and subscribe. It will help us a lot. Uh, all the support we get, we need all the support we can get, and uh, yeah, let me know if you guys agree or disagree on the comments down below with my top three, and uh, whether you actually see a few nerfs coming in the near future, cause I do. But uh, that's it for me, man. This is one time play. Signing out. Peace.